Good morning to you. Welcome to the second part of uh, how to submit proposals for social sciences research. There is one particular kind of structure which is generally known as IMRD structure, which you generally follow, not generally, Almost 99% of the medical journals follow this process and I found it to be very effective while writing your proposals. Now, generally you start with the title, but don't think that the title is going to be fine. You have to go for many iterations in order to see that the title clearly represents what work you are going to perform. Therefore, the abstract really you write a small starting abstract which should invite the people to search your project and number two, you should be visible. Therefore, you will be inviting them to write your, I mean inviting them to read your or read or evaluate your project and identify the keywords and then keep them aside for some time and then go to the introduction part. The introduction should give you what is the context for this project. And how it fits with the studies that has already happened in this particular area. Therefore, in literature review, you have to find out a large number of review papers select most important papers in, in India, in our country and some of the international papers and when you fit in where exactly your research is going to fit in this particular kind of a research map that is already available for the, for the topic you have chosen. This is very important. I will give you an idea how you have to go and fix this particular thing little later. Therefore, the introduction clearly gives you why you have to do this, why you are here and what is the research question. This is very important. By the time the person reads your introduction, you should know what is the similar studies that have happened in other papers. Number two, what is your research question? Therefore, it should clearly give a definition why you have to do this research. And number two is the methods. what we did or you as a researchers did or planning to do in order to answer the research question. In, we have two, two methods, quantitative and qualitative methods. In quantitative methods, what we do is after doing enough research, and probably you may conduct some interviews with the people and then with all the stakeholders, you may come out with a feeling that these are all the hypotheses I have and I need to test the hypothesis. In order to test the hypothesis, you need to have a sample unit and then need to have the sample size determination. Probably in the next lecture I will teach you, we will discuss that what should be the right sample size. Probably with 5% error, 
you may have you need need to have only 380 samples but remember that you are using random sampling or if you restrict the error to 2% or 1% the sample size increases to 2400 so those are all the things that you will be doing in the quantitative research on the other hand you are not clear about the hypothesis you do not know much about the phenomena that is happening in the world in in the in the world then what happens is you need to have qualitative research for you go then find out that's what grounded theory which we will see a little later for you try to find out from the people what exactly they feel about the things because they construct the world and if you feel that either method may not be useful and you need to have it, both the methods which are complementing each other then you may choose mixed methods now once you have the methods in place a good introduction in place you will have a good idea or at least you have some kind of a view what exactly the results are likely to be this gives you what is likely to be impact on the literature that means how much value you add for the academic world or for the methodological rigor for example you may conduct actor network theory which will be excellent tool for you to understand certain organizational processes which has not been attempted attempted in majority of i mean may not be feasible but it is less attempted tool in our country probably you can choose that therefore your results should add either for methodological aspects relating to the subject matter number two it should help the organization to have some value some kind of help to the organization you are dealing number three is societal impact now what kind of a societal impact your report is likely to create if you convert your research into a policy recommendation this is very important in fact there are two questions specifically which addresses these two areas and you should also be clear where exactly you are going to publish your work this is very important because unless you are very clear where this your topic or your subject is going to fit in you will not be able to really you'll be good just going and doing research therefore identify three to four journals where you can publish your work these are all the things it should happen before starting i mean be and while giving the proposal the next one is in the discussion probably you may not go for this step while doing the proposals but still you should have a good feel about the policy implications probably you can say that this is exactly the policy presently being adopted probably this study may add value in these areas and then most important is your references to a large extent this particular kind of a paradigm have helped uh, especially in medical research to come out with excellent reports if you read bmj lancet you will find the same structure being followed but remember 
we cannot have an extreme structured approach and we need to have a different philosophy while addressing issues in social science. We will discuss that in the sections that follow. Now proposal guidelines, you should have an abstract for 200 words, introduction for the proposed study 200 words, major research words. These proposals in the words you should have a clear, the limit should not cross 200 words. And you should have a duration of the study and successive monthly milestones being set for it. Therefore, better to have a Gantt chart. And this Gantt chart should give you various steps and the time and what kind of output you are likely to give within the period of nine months or 12 months or 24 months as given by the major and minor projects. If you can think of all the possible ways that this particular project can, you can definitely discuss with some senior researchers on how you have to plan the successive monthly milestones and what is doable. And keep always the references. In addition, you need to prepare 5,000 words detailed proposal. But what I suggest is prepare the entire 5,000 words to a large extent. Then take out from that the 1,800 words that you have to submit. And then go on refining your 5,000 words until you get a call from ICSSR, which is generally asking you to give Oh, I mean, now you need not go to Delhi. You can be here and then answer. But exactly, I don't know the procedures now after the COVID and other areas. But be ready with your 5,000 word proposal and a PowerPoint presentation on how you are going to do the research and all the other 